there's a podcast that's got the groove. DJ oh so fresh and the host with no name. It's the hype podcast where they tell their tales. Keeping it funky, ain't no room for the lame. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time to listen to the Hype Podcast. Turn up the volume. Let's get loud. Don't miss a single episode. It's the Hype Podcast. I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about today. Nobody knows. I mean, because I was disrupted the last time I tried to do a show, which wasn't that long ago. It was a couple days ago. This one might not be funny. Listen, nothing is funny when you have that attitude, okay? Nothing's funny. When you, no, when you have the attitude that shit's not going to be funny, it's it might, not fucking funny. It might not be funny. Dude, everything's funny. There's a lot of shit. I'm, I'm funny looking. I'm funny sounding. There's I a, say funny shit. There's a lot of shit going wrong as a I wear I funny think. clothes. You don't wear funny clothes. Of course I do. You just wear really white guy, I don't give a fuck clothes. <laughs> what if I just pulled out a fucking clown nose and shit? Like, I wear funny clothes. I mean, you just you just the type of dude that just wouldn't even dress up for a bitch. I, no, 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 no. I mean, she could she could look like she's going to the goddamn Oscars, and he'll be out there the same fucking hoodie. No, you, no, you know, you know. <laughs> and it's a it's a wonder. It's a wonder. Me and my ex broke up. Let me tell you why. I don't want because that. I took her to Vegas for her birthday. And I forgot my dress shoes in my van, right? And so I was dressed like Dr. House. I was in a full fucking black suit with running shoes on. Wow. And we had to go to this fucking dinner, and she was dressed to the nines. Like, she looked fucking amazing. Like, she was going to the fucking Oscars for doing an episode. This is a hype podcast. I'm the host of the I'm not I'm so fresh, and nobody's going to let me go because I don't allow those allegory tears like this guy right here. Hey. And you won't say what they want you to say. The it was- Academy of Arts and Sciences would make you, as a business owner, a small business owner, they would make you preach some DEI shit to the whole audience. And when they booed you, when they booed you, they'd make what you call What is DEI? Diversity, equity, and inclusion. Is that what that is? Yeah. In other words, gay shit. Oh. Yeah, it's gay shit. I mean, there's, there's a black and a fucking white on this show. <laughs> See, that's inclusion. Uh, that's inclusion. That's diversity. That's inclusion. I don't. Well, you have a home, so you have equity. There we go. Yeah. There we go. We covered all three, so fuck you guys. I got a lot of equity up in these nuts if you want to come see me, bitch. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. It's, to me, it's just one of those uh, those clever word plays where it's like, well, you have to include everybody playing. You don't have to include ball. shit. No, that's what I'm saying. Nobody. That's what I'm saying. Wait, if, if you want me to hire slash work with or incorporate somebody on my team who's no good at getting to the goal that we're projecting if i'm playing basketball who am i picking first the motherfucker that can dunk and you know what you know what motherfucker? And i don't care if he wears a dress or not i don't care what your pronouns are if you can dunk yeah yeah because you know i got a thing against motherfuckers i can dunk if yeah if you can bomb the, from the three-point line Wearing high heels, I don't give a shit. I give fuck. I, win. I just don't want to. I don't. Don't make me call you certain names. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, only the, the only gender I know is motherfucker. That's the only gender I know. <laughs> That's my favorite shit. Like the dude that I used to work with, he was there for like two weeks. This motherfucker. Did you really used to work with him? <laughs> yeah, for a while. That's true. No, this cat. I and I told the story before on the show, but he came in and the office manager was like, "Hey, hey, everybody, this is Damon." And he looked at the whole office and said, you could think of me more as a girl than a boy. And everyone just went, anyway, hi, Damon. We're going to go back to work now. Go fuck yourself. You don't give a fuck how you like to fuck. I don't care. I mean, if you want me to think of you as a girl, like, in what way? <laughs> like, I'm not trying to get at you. Yeah, I mean, if you want me to get at you, I mean, really. <laughs> See, you should do it like normal people. Wait till you catch me next to the coffee. Then you can say, hey, you know, it's cool to pop at me. <laughs> Hey, yep. Hey, he's like, he's like, have you ever had your middle finger smell like asshole? Come on in here. <laughs> You're like, bitch, this is the broom closet. Yeah, the <laughs> no, here's what I don't understand. One of the most iconic movies of all time, right? What's that? Ace Ventura. I've never seen it. 
You've never fucking seen Ace. Oh, I, I, was, I was never interested in Jim Carrey. You you, know? you haven't lived. I, no. So there's a there's a whole. Oh, sorry, I got to change the color. There, there's a whole scene. I'm feeling blue over you and your Ace. As you shirt. should be. Anyway, as as he keeps pushing buttons like fucking Pee Wee. If you're here. watching the show, you can see what I'm doing. So there there's a prolific oh, scene in there slow. where he goes undercover at a mental hospital. Right. He's wearing a fucking tutu and like one of those patient gowns okay. with, with like some. Fucking high top boots. Right? You'd be like the Joker on uh Batman? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Does he blow up the hospital? No. Then it wasn't a good movie. He's wearing a fucking tutu, is the point. He's wearing a goddamn ballerina dress. Okay. okay. Yeah. He was one of the first dudes to fucking put on a dress in a comedy, besides, you know, what what is it? Um Tango and Hooch or whatever it's the one of the first dudes. You you ever heard of Milton Burrow? Who the fuck? Have you ever heard of Flip Wilson? See, you know a bunch of motherfuckers from way back when. That used to wear, like Wesley Snipes wore a dress in a fucking movie. Nobody gives a that shit. That was right on the same time at Ace Ventura. I don't know. Yeah, well, I don't know if he knows you, Carrie. My point I don't is, know if they wore dresses together. My point is. Who would you wear a dress with? My, nobody gives a fuck if you wear a dress. Just leave us alone. How, we might laugh, point and laugh at you, but own it. Own that shit. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you, got, if you got skinny, super hairy legs, I care if you wear a dress. <laughs> That's just not popping. <laughs> I don't care what you look like, just don't have hairy legs, bitch. Hey, I mean, really, and you know, if you're one of the bitches that got married and start stop shaving your legs, then you know why your marriage is not happy. Dude, okay, okay, you brought this up. I mean, because if you're, if you if you you nobody, no man wants to sleep next to a fucking woolly mammoth. <laughs> Dude, this is why 99% of relationships don't work. And yeah, and yes, that's a fucking percentage, okay? I just gave you a full uh, uh, percentage. 100% of mine have it. <laughs> But here's why, because you, 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 you be you. You're also oh fresh, right? Yeah, it's gender. Also oh fresh, gender, <laughs> yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, your pronouns are also oh and fresh. So <laughs> my gender is motherfucker. When also oh gets in a relationship, also oh is who the fuck he is, a hundred percent of the time, right? <laughs> the only obligation is that the other half of that relationship has to be who they are, a hundred percent of the fucking time. What? There is no. 50 50 bullshit there's none of this because if you're half you and half them you're not a whole fucking person so when people get in relationships they're oh oh well you know you, you have to compromise and you have to no you well, have to be well, who the fuck you are they have to be who they are and then you meet in the middle on certain like things compromise on exactly that's my point if this ain't what i want get the fuck on yeah you have your life they have theirs and when those lives intersect is where the relationship comes together that's it that's exactly it motherfuckers that well, go where oh. is the jury coming to all this? That we've moved on. Okay. Stay with it. Stay okay. with the story here. <laughs> well, actually, Ace Ventura was who the fuck he was. Yeah. <laughs> the whole time. What were his pronouns? And he still got pussy. And, a tutu. <laughs> and he still got pussy. He's, no, but Ace Ventura got pussy. My point is, yeah, fuck yeah. He banged Courtney Cox in that movie. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, her name is Cox. <laughs> you know she's down to. So if, you, if your name is Cox, <laughs> you know what you're out for. <laughs> But no, th this is why when people get married, they stay married because, like, well, fuck, I'm already here. And then they give up half their life, and then you get bitches that go, oh, well, I gave up my entire life to be with you. Well, that's your bad, bitch. I mean, he got, that was your practice, dummy, to learn how to suck some dick. That's, <laughs> that's what your marriage was about. Yeah, and then you stopped doing that, and then it all went to shit. You know how much hoeing around you would have to go through to gain the amount of skills you need to match a married woman? We've gone through this before on the show. There's one thing a married woman can tell you, how to please at least one man. Now, you fucking skanks have just been sharing your pussy around, spreading your pussy like the fucking plague. Don't even know it's worth it. I mean, really, it's just, I mean, bitches, bitches who just they just run around, they're like ATMs because everybody's just making deposits. They don't, know if it, they don't know if it went through or not. You got to wait for a couple days for the bank to clear it. And what's really fucked up is married chicks suck more random dick than single bitches these days. Well, I, that shit's fucking in, wild. In, in the married afterlife, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and well, sometimes dying. Oh, okay. <laughs> what, I don't know. You don't know, dude. When I, I stay away from married women. Dude, well, that's fair. No, when I when I me and my best friend for like fifteen years, when he was on the road and I was on the road, he'd go do comedy shows and shit. I'd go meet him up in like fucking Chicago or Tennessee, wherever we were at. Married chicks would throw themselves at him, and they'd be like, "Oh no, I can't stay the night because my husband's gonna wonder where I'm at." What's wrong? Like, it's the perfect life. You're living the rock star shit. Well, 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 that's because he's not going to tell on you. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. He's not going to tell on you. 
I think that was like that old theory. If you're going to fuck around, fuck with somebody ugly. So when they come back, you just be like, <laughs> fuck it, that didn't happen. That, come on, come on, baby. You think I fuck with that bitch? <laughs> yeah, why would I down? Why, why would I, I, mean, I got the good shit at home. <laughs> but then, then, then in a woman's mind, she's like, you're just a fucking man if there's a hole. Dude, so I, I mean, you, I've you, had this discussion with women before, too. They literally say that. They're like, oh, well, you know, girls want, like, I want a dude that's six foot and over because I'm 5'7". Like, dudes that are shorter than me don't make no sense. Guys, they don't give a fuck. They'll fuck anything. And I'm like, um, bitch, I've seen the dudes on your Instagram. <laughs> like, you will fuck anything, too. Don't, I mean, don't you worry. If, if six foot is the only criteria, because sometimes six foot motherfuckers have stretched out faces. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you look like you're fucking Mr. Ed, this big long face, motherfucker. If that's what you want, but you know what? Else, you know what else? Hey, because I'm not six foot. You know what else doesn't matter? What? It doesn't matter how tall, short, big, small they are. If their wallet is big enough, bitch, you will jump on that fucking train and do whatever you need you, to do. It's like hating women today. Are you hating women? And, and what, eating? why is it? Why is this having anything to do with hating? I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm just, you're, you're, you're spitting facts about people who who have a different gender or a different gender persuasion than you. So I don't know. So so why don't you talk hey, about being bad? Don't question this. Don't don't question the science. Okay. There is, is a, there is no science to it. <laughs> what I just told you facts, and now you're telling me there's no science. I would talk about men bad, but then I'd have to talk about you, and I don't want to. Don't talk about me. Exactly. This is my show. There you go. I, now, can I go back to fucking bashing women? I mean, because we, we just cut this fucking mic. We just cut this fucking mic. You want to talk about me, man? You better yell. Can't hear you. Learn how to dunk. Oh, well, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to say that out loud. That's your girl how, that's your girl how good I dunk. Yeah. <laughs> I would, but you don't fuck with redheads. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I had a nice little redhead streak in there. When? In 1987? No, I had a great long redhead streak. No, in my adult life. You just went around. <laughs> in my adult you were an adult in nineteen eighty seven, weren't you? No. No? No. I thought wait, how what year were you born? I was born when I was born, but I was an adult in nineteen eighty seven. I don't think I believe that. I thought about I do the math. On I thought this. about adult things in nineteen eighty seven, but I was not an adult. You were you were like fifteen. That's not an adult. Eighty seven, I was twelve, okay? You no. I was You're 12. older than that. I was twelve. I was I was figuring out when is this little shit coming out of my PP, <laughs> and where I, where does this shit where does this shit go? I mean, I used to dream of genie all the time. <laughs> so where does this shit go? Seriously, I mean, at twelve, you're like, where does this shit go? Because I mean, like, you pee in the toilet. Okay. But I'm never at the toilet and this shit wants to come out. <laughs> but if I'm dreaming of genie all evening. Hang on. Hang on. Do you ever, do you ever think about that? Like now that now that you're older? Like what exactly went through your head like at the time of like puberty and shit? And then today, like you look at motherfuckers and you go, You little piece of shit. You have no idea what it was like. Idea. You didn't have the fucking internet. All you had is your dad's fucking Playboys. You had to rewind the tape to the specific spot so you didn't get caught watching your dad's porn. In puberty, I was just getting used to pissing. <laughs> I was used to one thing coming out of my penis. Because I mean, look, let's be honest. You ladies, you got two holes. You got two holes, and there's two and there's two functions over there. Me, I got one hole, one function. I one hole, two functions. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And then we, when you go to when you go to a class and they tell you that hey it switches up like your body knows to spit what to spit out because I mean you you you'll find yourself pissing in bitches <laughs> I mean I'll depend on how kinky you are I was gonna say, on how much you pay I mean, hey some people ain't wired right that's and true if you, if you find yourself doing that you should call them you should call the suicide hotline because because <laughs> there's gonna be some bitches trying to kill you for that okay now wait a minute let me hey, you were like i squirted i'm like no <laughs> he'd be like i squirt you squirted bitch he's like no you peed <laughs> what is like what's the weirdest thing you've ever heard like that somebody liked during sex and i'm talking like american pie shit you know what i mean i don't know no i don't really think about that stuff much I said, what's the weirdest shit you've heard? I, I don't mean, remember because I don't think about it that not, much. Not even like you were scrolling on Pornhub and you found something fucking weird. I mean, you you could go for bronies. I mean, I don't know. I don't what know. The, what the fuck is a brony? People like My Little Pony. Or, or, or what the fuck? 
Yeah, like guys who are like My Little Pony. They're called bronies. People that jerk off to Takeshi Six Nine and shit. If you, if Takashi Six Nine makes you it makes you hot, please turn off this fucking show. <laughs> if you happen to listen to anything about Takashi Six Nine, I, I I prefer you just turn off the fucking show. Hey, okay. Hey, can you see my hand in here? Yeah, that that hand says fuck you. Oh no 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 no. Let me turn this on. <laughs> the, the fuck you cam. Hey, it's the fuck you cam. Okay, okay. Oh, hang look, on. Look, 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 hang oh, on, hang on. Look, hang I put on. his eye. Hang on, hang on. So I'm gonna give you a series of names. Okay. And I want you to tell me. I want you to just the first thing that comes to your mind. What? The first thing that comes to your mind I, that, uh, that they that they want to do. What? Like what, sexually want to do. Uh, who? Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington? He's he's a yeller. He wants to talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump. Donald Trump? Donald Trump is he's 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 gonna lay back and take he's just gonna lay back and take it from you and tell you how good it was after. <laughs> That is the best penis you've ever had. <laughs> it's just <dope. laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, motherfucker, well, give it to you past tense. I mean, it's like, you know, after I grabbed you by the pussy, then I, I mean, you're just going to replay it all in your mind. After I grabbed you by the pussy, I gave you the best penis you ever had. All right. And then, bitch, don't sue me. That's what he's going to say. <laughs> he's going to say, bitch, don't sue me. I, I can't nut until you say you're not going to sue me. Cat Williams. What is that fucking motherfucker into? Oh, I don't know. Tall bitches. <laughs> Are we talking like WNBA bitches? I mean WNBA bitches. <laughs> like twice. <laughs> yeah. I like a I, I like a bitch that can rock me to sleep. That's what he said. <laughs> He's like in your arms, bitch. I mean, I mean, in your arms. I mean, how would you turn down having a bitch big enough that she can put you in her arms and you just suck on that titty right there? <laughs> bitch big enough just to pick you up out the bathtub and you can suck on her titty right when you got the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, a bitch big enough to burp you. <laughs> I mean, put, put your belly, put my belly over your titty while you burp me. Mister, Mister fucking American icon, Larry Bird. What's he into? <laughs> Larry Bird. He's another shit talk. <laughs> Larry Bird, Larry Bird is gonna walk by like Larry Bird, just like we play basketball. He's gonna walk, he's gonna walk past the bitch, and he's gonna say, "I'm gonna bust three nuts in you tonight." <laughs> is, he, is he wearing the high socks? And he's gonna say, "I'm gonna do it all left-handed," because you know he came to Portland and played a whole game left-handed and scored fifty points. Yeah, that's Larry Bird. <laughs> do it all left-handed. <laughs> Uh, all right oh man last, last oh please last and not but not least tell me right now what is arnold schwarzenegger into besides ugly maids take your time i would say maria he had maria shriver yeah he proves he proves the theory <laughs> he had maria shriver he fucked the ugly maid because no that didn't happen <laughs> You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, his kid was 10 years old before Maria Shriver knew that he had the baby by the bitch. Shut you didn't know that? No, no. She was his maid for years. And the kid grew up with his kids. <laughs> that really happened. That's some real shit. Oh, my God. So, so Arnold Schwarzenegger's into ugly bitches. That's no, no, no. He just played the rule. He said, you know, I'm going to fuck this ugly bitch, so I'm going to, you know, because she, she won't believe this. But then he got a baby with her. <laughs> so she ain't going to believe this. <laughs> the DNA don't lie. <laughs> and she said, she said, bitch, don't question the science. He, I think he was still mayor of California then. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. I mean, man. really, it's like, and how did he even fucking come out? If he, you don't have the kid living with you for 10 fucking years. <laughs> There, there's imagine this dude was he just like a dark-skinned arnold looking dude or did he look nothing like that because i know for a fact i know for a fucking fact that you can tell like even strangers can tell oh yeah that's that kid's dad right or that's that kid's mom like you just fucking know I mean, i'm sure the kid walked around with a whole little fucking arnold schwarzenegger accent <laughs> flat top yeah, and I, I, he just hangs out with our kids too much <laughs> Yeah, he came out of the womb with a yeah. fucking Dolph Lundgren flat top. He haircut. destroyed my mommy's pussy. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, speaking of destroying pussy. Oh. 
So I was at the Humane Society the other day, and uh, <laughs> yeah, whoops, <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be on camera. So, um, I have to break some news to you. You remember when we had coffee the other day, yeah. like a couple weeks ago, or how? Uh, God, it's been maybe a couple months ago now. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah it was, none of it was pumpkin spice, just so you know. Yeah, for the love of God. So when, when my office manager saw you, mm -hmm. she saw you out the window, and she goes, was that Dave Chappelle? Stop. I, no, I stop, swear to God. Stop. I'm, I quitting, to God. I'm quitting the fucking show. I swear to God. You bring that shit up every fucking week. Get no, the fuck I, out the show. Get the fuck out the show. Right we, I will call. Let's, let's cut the goddamn mic again. Let's cut the mic again because we got a whole bunch of bullshit going on here. Applause because we walked this motherfucker off the stage. I will fucking call her right now. She is. No, you, know, you know, I'm not really into that shit. I don't I care. Understand. I don't but, care. But I thought it was fucking hilarious because she got, she had a whole like conversation with me about it. She goes, wait, no, who's the comedian? Am I thinking of Chris Rock? Am I, is it Chris Rock I'm thinking of? And I was like, like no. Dude, I, I do a show. <laughs> I've heard all this before. You're wasting my fucking time. What I'm, got, I'm running out of fucking tape right now. <laughs> what else do you have to do with your life? What else? Here, here I, I like to hear about me instead of these other bitch ass dudes making. They're, they're talking about you. They're they're talking about me. She's not talking about me. Then who's she talking about? She's some other say, black dude in the parking lot. She just say, "I like, I would like to fuck Dave Chappelle, <laughs> and he'd be a great fucking filling." That's not what she said. So keep it fucking pushing. <laughs> How many bitches do you think actually said that? Line? I don't know. That's the only if you, bring, if you want to bring that motherfucker up, that's the only line I want to hear. That's the only line I want to fucking hear. That's it. Leave that shit alone. Okay, will you give, make, give it a fucking rest. Can we get you a t-shirt that says that? <laughs> no, no bitch has ever said, I want to fuck Dave Chappelle, but you'll do. Yeah. <laughs> Never came up. Been sitting next to the man, and none of the bitches are like, you know what? I'll take I'll take the Wonder Twins right here. They just look at both of you and go, hmm, I can't decide. <laughs> well, he's taller, so you know that place was favor. How tall is he? Yeah, and, six two, six three. And he can't dunk, so I mean you know. I don't know if he can dunk or not. Maybe he could. No, at some no point. there's no way. At some point, you saw that Prince uh skit they had, he dunked. Yeah, on a fucking six foot hoop, dude. That was a kitty hoop. You weren't there. Oh, how do you know? How do is I know that, you weren't there? A, yeah, is that a fact? Yeah, because your punk ass was in high school when they came out. <laughs> No, I wasn't. I hired you off the fucking streets, you bitch. That is such horseshit. I hired you off the, the streets. Show, yeah. show it was not in two thousand three. It was in two thousand three. That's not no that episode. That yeah. did not come out in two thousand three. Yeah, yeah it is. We're looking it up after the show. What do you, you want know, to bet me? I don't know. Uh, how about I bet you won't be on the show next week? <laughs> <laughs> how about that? Why Why wouldn't I be on the show next week? I don't know, because you're the only person that'll do the show with me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, you kicked off the rest of the motherfuckers. <laughs> you know, I, I got this thing about firing people. You do? I really do. I'm surprised you... You know, I'm surprised you never fired me. We've talked about this before, but it's still... You can't you can pretty fucking close. Yeah. Well, you remember after I fired that bitch and she, I, I, we, I fired a bitch right in front of him and she walked out <laughs> crying and this motherfucker got his shit in line. He was on time every day after that. Uh, on time and dressed. He was the first boss. He was like, wow, I thought bosses fucked around. Yeah. Boy, you better think the fuck again. Yeah. And it was, I remember that bitch because she was like, yeah, I'm in with the program director or whoever the fuck it was. And you were like, I don't give a fuck who you're in with. You are, you're in here. We are in here right now. Well, I mean, the little hoe, we <laughs> or we just street team shit. You always go out as a group. Yeah. And then we go to do club shit. And the little hoe will always want to just tag on somebody and just leave the group. Oh, yeah. I know them. I'm going to hang out with them. You know what? You come with the, you come with the team, you leave with the team. That's that hap that works in dating too. <laughs> Always go home with what you came with. Is that a rule? That's a rule for me. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say because I it's gone terribly wrong the few times that that has happened. Like I've been out at bars or whatever. Because like, even if there's I mean, even the super offers on the fucking table. <laughs> well, no. Here's the thing. I mean, that's what they that's what they got fucking napkins for. Write your fucking number down. Hand out. <laughs> come back. Come back and scoop the pussy later. You know what I'm saying? It's like you know you can't you can't drive two cars home. Go to dealership. You can only take one car home. Now you can you can do all the paperwork on another car. <laughs> do all the paperwork, but you're only going home with one car. No way. Wait, wait, wait. And you wait. The dealership might not want your old car, so you got to drive your old car home, and then have your buddy bring you back so you can get to do it. And then you 
you want to go on a fucking test drive. <laughs> That's what you want to do. The Hype Podcast Rules for Life by Oh So Fresh. If you ever go out on a date, always, always leave with, in the same car you drove in. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dude, what, are, what are the top three? Okay, so if, if always, always leave with the person you came with, never, ever, ever get the number. Let them give you the number. Slide it up on the napkin, you know, just like very incognito. Right, that, that go either way. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, really. I, I mean, it, sometimes you're going for high value prey, and it's just not going to be. <laughs> <laughs> you got to, you got to, you got to slip because, you know, it's, it's, it's just, the, the bar is like the animal fucking kingdom. Everybody's, <laughs> everybody's trying to do their little, their little, their little mating call, and you know, they, they want to get the strong ones. Okay, okay. To close out the show, All right. um, we're going to go with the same theme. This is the worst fucking show ever. Nothing happened on this show. This is the Seinfeld episode. No, go ahead. We're, no, we're going to figure some shit out. Seinfeld for bitches. We're going to figure some shit out right now, okay? okay. We're, we're going to go with different folks, but one of them at least is going to be the same while I, while I come up with some other ones. Perfect. How do you think Donald Trump hollers at women? Grabs them by the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> he told you. <laughs> Just walks up and fucking. Just, That's why it was so fucked up. He just broke balling balls. Uh, motherfucker broke bro code <laughs> when he was like he recorded him saying I grabbed him by the pussy. We all grabbed by the fucking pussy. He just he said it. <laughs> I, I mean because if you grab a bitch by the pussy, it is on. It is officially on. How's Keanu Reeves hollering at a chick? Oh, he's just uh, he pulls out his puppy. <laughs> <laughs> and the keys to a brand new mansion. <laughs> All right. Last but not least, oh. how does the rapper Ti holler at a chick? I don't know. He doesn't. He goes into witness protection and then gets arrested for violating his parole. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, he, he's been married for twenty five. <laughs> he, he was. They got divorced. When he fucked around on her. They're still together. They got back together because the, there was some big come no, up. No, because now he has now he has a she son that looks like fucking Bozo the Clown. <laughs> Are you seeing his son? Well, why would I know who Ti is? Because he is he named his son King. Yeah, and you I know, know I mean, a light skin motherfucker. I you ever see a light skin motherfucker with such big, such big pink <laughs> lips. I mean, if he'll if he'll get some fucking airtime, yeah, your son has DSL. <laughs> <laughs> To put him in a dress and put him to work, T.I. I mean, this little son is always like, that's on business. You don't even know what fucking business is. Your daddy bought you everything. That's what it is about, like, rappers' kids. <laughs> right. Don't don't tell me about rapping. Hey, rap is not actually a struggle art form, just to be honest with you. But nobody wants to hear a fucking rapper, a, a rapper's son. I'm already rich. <laughs> yeah, I'm already rich. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so how's Eminem hollering at a woman? Uh, Eminem it, it doesn't... The holler at women. I forgot. He, just, he said a couple lines. Even if doesn't holler at women. <laughs> no, you uh, don't think? No. Uh, he just stays stays in his fucking. I mean, he just carries mansion. he just carries a copy of the Marshall Mathers LP <laughs> on him at all times because that's the good album. He puts the our Marshall Mathers LP up and goes, "Hey, bitch, you remember this?" <laughs> yeah. He says, "Remember this?" And that's all yeah, he's got to yeah, say. Go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Hype Podcast. I'm the host with no name. My name is So So Fresh. We have spent 30 minutes indoctrinating your eardrums with nothing but nonsense, and we love you for hanging out with us. Don't forget, donate to our Patreon, patreon.com forward slash yeah, the Hype Podcast. People don't donate shit. Well, it's because we don't talk about people it. People don't donate shit. Because we don't talk about them. People don't donate shit. We don't talk about them enough. Oh, because we don't list out our fucking Patreons? I would. I mean, you know, like, like I'm supposed to give a shout out to everybody who watches a commercial if I'm doing a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> everybody who everybody watched that tie commercial i say i'm saying jojo up in the projects i was saying philip over over in lake oswego thanks for watching that tie commercial in between my the, me talking oh so how's bill o'reilly hollering at chicks what's he saying he's saying uh oh he has that book on killing <laughs> you know he's just like killing lincoln killing, yeah he's like bill o'reilly's like i'm killing the pussy but he's like, I'm killing you. I'm going to I'm gonna kill your pussy and write a book about it. He's so angry. <laughs> he's, he's not angry. <laughs> what do you mean he's not angry? He was going to be angry to kill some pussy. Jesus Christ. Bill Bill O'Reilly is one of the angriest fucking people I've ever seen on TV. Uh, oh, we always, oh, oh, fuck it. You know, I forgot about that. Yeah, we do, yeah. I guess Bill O'Reilly. Fuck it. We'll do it live. That's Bill O'Reilly for you. <laughs> yes. That's what he's, that's how he hollers at a bitch. 
I'm out of here. Lots of bitches in here. We'll talk to you next time.